Sir, I need to get 150 plus in physics, but I don't want to go through the entire of physics. Tell me only those topics which will help me to get this much of score. Because I can score good in biology, I can score good in chemistry, okay? But when it comes to the physics, I don't have enough time to go through the entire subject. So tell me those specific 35 topics which helps me over here. So in this particular video, we will be basically going through all with those topics, okay? I'll be telling you the chapters also, the topics also, which helps you to get 150 plus in physics. If you ask me, sir, at this point of time, can I score 180 out of 180 in physics if I have to start from scratch? I say no, it is impossible. But you can score 150 plus in your uh, physics if you follow this plan that I'll give you over here die-heartedly. Welcome to Unacademy Neat English. I want you guys to subscribe to this channel and hit the like button and do comment down below, okay? Now listen to me very carefully. At the end of the video, there is some surprise that I'm gonna give you. So stick to the video till the end. Now listen to me very carefully. First and the foremost thing over here is we'll go through all those chapters. This is the analysis of 2021. This is the analysis of 2022 and 2023 paper, neat physics paper, okay? We'll be basically focusing on the chapters which are high weightage. How many number of questions have been asked when it comes to the 2021? 2022 and 2023 okay so based on that i'll be telling you the topics afterwards which topics you guys are supposed to go through so that you'll get the maximum marks or we say 150 plus in your physics in the upcoming time now let's talk about first units and dimensions okay before 2021 it was not considered to be the high weighted chapter at all but from 2021 onwards this is considered to be the one of the high weighted chapters okay so we cannot afford to leave it and it is very small chapter. It is not the big chapter. It will take just a day to complete. So we say in 2021, we say three questions were asked from this particular chapter. And in 2022, three questions were asked from this. And in 2023, two questions were asked. Similarly, when it comes to the kinematics, very easy chapter we have been studying from class 9th about this particular chapter, speed, velocity, acceleration, equations of motion, graphs and all. So we say three questions were asked from this one in 2021, two questions, three questions were asked from in 2022 and five questions were asked in 2023. So we say this is one of the high weighted chapters that you guys need to keep in your mind, okay? So we cannot afford to leave this chapter also. And then comes, we say, laws of motion, okay? And in 2021, no question. And we say in 2023, two questions were asked from this one. What do you have in this one? Free body diagram, pseudo force and all, that's it, okay? Pulley block system, that's it. You guys have to study that, you are done. Then we have the gravitation. When it comes to the gravitation, listen to me very carefully. In 2021, we say two questions were asked. In 2022, we say two questions were asked. And similarly, in 2023, two questions were asked. Then let's come on to the electrostatics. So this electrostatics contains six questions. It, six questions were asked in 2021. And we say four questions were asked in 2022 and five questions were asked in 2024. Similarly, if we talk about the current electricity, three questions were asked in, we say 2021. See, every single time in my every single video, I keep telling you when it comes to the electrostatics, this is the high weightage chapter, okay? And I have given the complete marathon on this YouTube channel, okay? And in which I have cleared every single topic. I have shown you more than 70 problems in that marathon. You can watch that and you can score all of these six questions, okay? So similarly, when it comes to the current electricity, five questions were asked in NEET 2023, okay? From the current electricity portion, highest weightage chapters, I must say. Then we say magnetic effects, okay? In case of magnetic effects, we say three questions were asked in 2023, four were asked in 2022, and four were asked in 2021. And then we have alternating current, three questions, two questions, and two questions. Similarly, we have the ray optics, four questions, three questions, three questions, okay? Now, afterwards, we have the dual nature of matter and radiations, atoms and nuclei, and we have the semiconductors. So this all comes under the modern physics, okay? So in this modern physics, we say, we say two questions, two questions, one question, okay? Four questions, three questions, four questions. And overall, if I say, I would say in this particular case, 12 to 15 questions you can exactly uh, expect in this one, okay? Because this is the high weightage, one of uh, modern physics. Every single time I have told you that this is the gold mine. And what are, see, see. 
So means these are the high weightage chapters that we should exactly focus on. Now the point is, what are the topics that we should learn under these chapters so that we can get the 150 plus score, okay? Now listen, even if you count all of these questions, it will, it, it, it count, it comes out to be 160 plus marks, okay? Now listen to me very carefully. Let's first talk about the units and dimensions chapter. In this particular chapter, you have to first understand the dimensional analysis, okay? So the dimensional formula of this, this, that, okay? So different dimensional formulas, you have to basically go through that. Then you have the errors and significant figures, very easy. And then you have the measuring devices, okay? Vernier caliper and we have the screw gauge. So you guys are supposed to focus on these topics. You'll get, you'll be able to solve all of those three questions which comes under units and dimension. Then you have the kinematics. In this kinematics, first we have the equations of motion, okay? For those equations of motion where acceleration is constant, S is equal to ut plus half of at square, V is equal to u plus at, uh, we say the third one, V square minus u square is equal to s, or the another equations of motion which I have told you, those are, uh, we say V is equal to dv by dt, those are also the equations of motion. We say acceleration is dv by dt, uh, sorry, acceleration is dv by dt, uh, velocity is displacement ds by dt, okay? So those equations of motion you guys are supposed to go through, all the equations or whatever you have in this one. And then you have motion under gravity, okay? In this one, you guys are supposed to focus on this one. Most importantly, in kinematics, graphs are very important. Be it position time graph, be it we say velocity time graph, acceleration time graph, and graph convergence. How you can convert the acceleration time graph into velocity time graph, how you can make the velocity time graph from acceleration time graph. These, these convergence are very important. Finding the area from the graph, okay? Finding the change in velocity from the, from the graph, all of these are important, okay? Then comes basically the laws of motion. When it comes to the laws of motion, you have the three laws, okay? Then we say FBD. FBD is very important from this one also. And momentum problems, momentum collision problems comes, out, comes under this one. And the pseudo force. We say these are the topics you should exactly study in this one in order to get the maximum score from this one also. Then we have the gravitation. In case of gravitation, you have to go through the escape velocity over here. And we say gravitational potential energy and gravitational potential energy of different geometric systems that you need to understand, that you need to solve, and the Kepler's laws and satellites, you can exactly go through these. And then we have electrostatics. When it comes to the electrostatics, we say Coulomb's law field, all of the questions which comes under the Coulomb's law, like you have the four charges over here, find the force in that case, okay? And, and the other variety of questions over there also, like you have the two blocks, you have the two charges placed over here, attached with a string. How much is the distance between them if they remain in equilibrium? Equilibrium problems. I have covered all those problems in the electrostatics marathon. Or if you have the two charges in equilibrium, what is the value of the charge? How much is the tension? What is the value of theta? Everything, okay. And the field problems. You have got the infinite number of charges. What is the field at this O point because of all of these charges? So all of that comes under this field and force. I want you guys to basically go through that marathon. You can write uh, electrostatics marathon by Yawar sir and an academy neat English. You will watch that particular session. Everything is mentioned. And then we have electric potential and potential energy. Like you have the different systems. Four charges are over here. How much is the net potential energy? I have solved different, different questions. If you take the charge from infinity, place it at the center of the system, what will be the work done in that case? So this is the question which have been frequently asked in the need. Then you have the dipole. Okay, so dipole, when it comes to the field due to a dipole or the questions on that, you can basically, so I have shown you that also, so you can go through that. And then we have the Gauss law. In case of Gauss law, you have to find the flux through a closed surface. It will be given different number of uh, structures like you have, uh, uh, you have a, we say two cylinders, how much is the flux in that case? Everything is mentioned over there. Then you have the current electricity. In case of current electricity, we say voltmeter, a meter. Every type of problem I have shown you, okay? Or the meter bridge, every type of problem I have shown you. Then you have the resistance current, drift, drift velocity, or you have the Ohm's law. All of that comes under the current electricity chapter, okay? And then we have to finding the common potential. One of the important topics. Sir, sir, you are saying the name of these topics. Where can we get these topics? Watch my marathon. Over there, everything I have shown you. Okay, so we say common potential, we say circuits over here. 
okay so this is very important like finding the common potential in different types of circuits finding the current in the resistor in the circuit so every question i have solved over there and then comes the magnetic effects of current so in this first topic that is important is we say magnetic force on a rod if you have let's suppose a rod placed in a magnetic field how much is the force so like this formula similarly charge placed in a magnetic field this this one this concept on this concept you'll be asked the questions okay and and most importantly field due to an arc loop or wire this is important and solenoid we say toroid every concept i have covered in my marathons okay then we have next we say ac in alternating current you have to go through the phasor diagram okay every question i have solved over there and we say lcr series lcr circuits like lc circuit we say pure capacitive pure inductive pure resistive all of that i have shown you you can watch that and you'll get the full marks and transformers okay maximum number of questions can be asked from the ac from this particular topic that is transformers very important high weightage chapter okay then you have the ray optics we say lens and the combination of lens okay and we say over here microscope and telescope and resolution of instruments this is also very important from the ray optics portion okay now my dear friends comes on to the modern physics okay i have given you the 10 hour marathon on modern physics now listen to me very carefully first of all bohr's model is very important like velocity of an electron in the nth orbit okay like we say radius of an electron in the nth orbit energy is potential kinetic and the total energy everything and their graph is important when it comes to the Bo in bohr's model okay then you have the de broglie wavelength de broglie wavelength for a charged particle for different different particles for a charged particle placed in electric field for a charged particle moves under the potential difference so that concept is also very important and we say we say einstein's photoelectric equation very important very important very important from the modern physics okay so this topic comes in dual nature of matter and radiations this topic also comes in dual nature of matter and radiations this is the topic from we say bohr's model we say this is the topic from atoms okay then we say from the nuclei chapter we have the binding energy variety of questions i have shown mass defect variety of questions i have shown on this one graph between mass number and stability variety of questions i have shown you over here also and the q value of the reaction important okay now my dear friends at the end we say semiconductors okay in case of semiconductors we have the pn junction diode okay when it comes to the pn junction we say forward bias of pn junction reverse bias of pn junction whatever the problems and theoretical problems have been asked from this one a surgeon reason type problems have been asked from the semiconductors i have shown each and every single one then we say the logic gates very 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 important okay different every category of problem every topic i have shown you in the logic gates also so these are basically the 35 30 to 35 topics that will definitely help you to score we say 150 plus provided you give your 100% dedication provided you are consistent your studies from now onwards so definitely you'll crack neat and you'll land into the government medical college after some time now my dear friends as i told you initially i'll be having a surprise for you guys the link is in the description below there is a link of this in this particular video okay the link is in this in the description that is the formula sheet that is completely free of cost for all the people out there okay if you want the important need physics formula sheet you have got the for, let's suppose for capacitors you can download the pdf you'll get the formula sheet you have for the magnet need for the magnetism for all the chapters you'll get it over here okay similarly for chemistry you'll get it over here similarly for we say biology you have different different uh topics where you have the formula sheet each and every single thing you can get from this particular link and after that i want you guys to focus on this one we have yesterday launched the new crash course we have yesterday launched the new crash course okay so that is on youtube completely free of cost maximum number of students were demanding that sir uh, to vasin sir sir please teach organic chemistry to me sir please teach ray optics and 11th portion so in this particular crash course we are starting from scratch and we will be starting from we say we say 11th portion so first first session is this basic mathematics check the channel and i want you guys to basically hit this like button hit this like button over there okay so we can start with this 11th portion and after that all the chapters i'll be completing over here so that you will get the 
these topics, whatever I have told you in this particular video, we say every single topic will be covered in this particular series, okay? That too completely free of cost on this particular channel, okay? So my dear friends, a lot of people were saying that, sir, we cannot afford this dream crash course. Please help us in some way. So we say this is for all the students out there, okay? So this Unacademy Neat English team is with you. We are supporting, we'll support you completely, okay? No matter what, that's the reason we came up with this particular series so that we can complete your 11th portion. I know you loved my 12th portion. Now I'm coming up with the 11th portion, provided you show the same love. And do let me know in the comments down below, every, whatever you have in your mind, what is the next chapter that I should go with after this basic mathematics? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for all this. Thank you so much.